New information tonight. We are learning more about the Huntsville Police Department's involvement in the multi agency operation that got 36 dangerous criminals, illegal drugs, and guns off the street in North Alabama. U.S. Marshals are working now to track down two more suspects. Huntsville Police shared that it teamed up with the U.S. Postal Inspection Service to help find the criminals all across North Alabama. Huntsville Police drug agents told us they worked around the clock on this operation and they're hoping having help from other local, state, and federal law enforcement will help them keep the men involved off the streets for a long time. Well, we have the same network of people that we usually see on a rotating basis here locally. Anytime they get the federal charges, then they are held for longer than they are in the state system. It definitely does help clean up our streets. Lieutenant Tony McLeay is the commander for the multi jurisdictional federal drug task force that's led by Huntsville Police. He tells me the recent operation with the Postal Inspection Service is the longest and largest the task force has ever worked on. We use U.S. Postal Inspectors, track packages. Uh, they identify packages that are going to this organization. We're able to use that information, uh, obtain search warrants, tra uh, track the packages to their locations. MacLeay said the Postal Inspector worked quickly to get federal search warrants for packages the agency's drug dog believed contained drugs. The Postal Inspection Service told me it wants to stop illegal drugs from being sent through the Postal Service. We will continue to make sure that things are safe in the mail stream, our customers are safe, our employees are safe. Madison County Sheriff Kevin Turner's team played a role in helping round up some of the criminals in the final stage of the operation last week. Turner said he's worked the streets for 20 years doing narcotics and gang investigations, and he's familiar with the criminals and has seen the drug market change. You know, five, six, seven years ago when I was working the street, we were buying kilos of cocaine. Now you're buying kilos of methamphetamine and ice, and, and now you're seeing heroin come back in the picture with fentanyl. Everyone telling me without all the agencies working together, all the violent criminals would still be on the streets. Without the other agencies that are involved in STAC being a part of this case, I just don't think it would have been such a success. The suspects are now facing multiple charges. We have put a list of all of their names on our website. Just go to waytv.com.